Mohamed Soudais was just under two months old when a gas explosion ripped through the apartment block he was living in with his family in Peshawar in December. His parents and brother all died and he was left with horrific injuries to his skin, what has been described as third degree burns. Well, this is him with his father and brother before the accident. You can see he is a beautiful baby. Now I must warn you, some of these next photographs are upsetting. So here he is after the accident in hospital. Now the worry for the family is that infection sets in and the boy's uncle, Mohamed Asif, who has lived in Scotland for many years, wants him to come to Glasgow for treatment. Well, I spoke to him earlier on this morning. He's the only sign of my brother and uh, we really want him to live. And, uh, you know, it's difficult. I know that people die, one day we all die, but to die in these circumstances is very difficult. You know, you have three people taken away from you within a week. Uh, it, it is too much, but again, you know, we're all human beings. We, we all have children or we, have, we might have children. Uh, but I don't know how to say thank you to the Scottish people for um, responding very quickly and very efficiently. So what's the next stage, Suzanne? Well, today I was in Mohammed Asif's lawyer's office as he applied for the visa to bring his nephew to Scotland. By now, that request will be with the British High Commission in Pakistan. And once they rubber stamp it, it's just a matter of logistics. So it may be that Mohammed Sudeis is too ill to fly by commercial airline and an air ambulance is what's needed. So that will all be decided within the next few hours and days and the family hope he will be in Scotland within the week. Now the cost of his medical treatment in this country will be met by the NHS. So this should all be a matter of clearing the red tape but as Mohammed Asif is keeping his fingers crossed because baby Mohammed Sudais doesn't get this treatment, he may die.